Hi, Hiram here. I'm going to do a quick test on this Super Cat stove that I got from Colorado Camper. I want to try this with carbon felt, just like I did with the IsoClean uh, 2.0 stove from Flat Cat Gear, where I put the carbon felt on the inside, and I was surprised how the jets came out of these holes instead of just coming up from the felt like I thought it would. So I thought maybe I'd try the same test with the super cat here but I wanted to get a baseline so I'm going to do it without the carbon felt first just to see how this goes like I said this is one that I got from Colorado Camper a good guy sent me a bunch of stoves to play with stoves that he made so I have one fluid ounce of methanol put that in there it doesn't quite fill up to the holes Okay. I'm just kind of stalling here to see if my water goes down, but I guess not. So let's just light it. Okay. Now the idea here is once you set the pan on here, then the flames start coming out of the hole. So you got to let it warm up a little bit. Okay, let's see if I can get this on here and keep the flame going. Not quite hot enough. This is a very simple stove to make. It's just made out of a cat food dish. Yeah. Okay, now I'm screwing up my temperatures. Just made up, not a cat food dish, but a cat food can. This one is about 2.39 inches or 6.0 centimeters in diameter and 1.45 inches tall or 3.69 centimeters. There's different size cat foods that you, cat food cans that you can get. Okay, let me see if I can stick this on. Okay, it looks, hopefully that's taking. This is going to be kind of a screwed up test. That's the problem with these kind of burners that you got to let it, wait them for them to blossom. Now I've got a little bit of flame there, but I'm not sure if it's going to go. Yep, there it goes. Okay, so let's see where this ends up. We're now at two minutes and the temperature is up to 122 degrees. Like I said, this is a very easy stove to make. You just clean out a canned food, can of cat food, punch some holes in it, and you're off to town. It's a stove, not just a burner. Uh, with all these holes, it does put out the flames. So let's see where it goes from here. There we have 210. To 11, to 12 at 557. Okay, that was two cups of water starting at 61 degrees, let's say. Got to a boil in 5 minutes and 57 seconds. That was with one fluid ounce, 30 milliliters of methanol. So let's see where it runs out from here. Okay, we're going, going. Still hanging in. Okay, we're going, going, gone at let's say 10:30. 10 minutes, 30 seconds. Not bad for a simple little stove. Again, this is a Super Cat stove. If you've never made one of these before, I'll put a link down below to a website called Zen Stoves. They have great uh, instructions on how to make these even the patterns for making the holes. So that was two cups of water starting at about 61 degrees room temperature 53 degrees, humidity 55, it's cloudy and breezy outside, windy actually but it brought the two cups of water to a boil in five minutes 57 seconds and then ran out at 10 minutes 30 seconds. That was with one fluid ounce 30 milliliters of methanol so now that gives me a baseline to see what happens when I stick the piece of carbon felt in here just like so to see what that does to the uh, burn sequence because one of the problems with this stove is if you're in really cold weather 
so everything's all nice and cold. This is a hard stove to get going, but maybe with carbon felt or something in there, it'll cut that down. So I hope, well, this is basically for me. So I thank you for watching. I thank Colorado Camper. That's what I meant to say. I thank Colorado Camper for sending me these stoves that he made. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.